Okay, uh, YouTube, we are back. We are looking at a severe storm in uh, southern Oklahoma. We are taking a look now uh, in Kiowa County. Earlier, I uh, wasn't quite sure which storms would quickly become dominant, but I am liking the looks of this southern cell best. And let me show you why. South of it, we have nothing. North of it, we've got all kinds of junk. Not really junk. I mean, these are severe storms. They are going to be producing uh, golf ball sized hail and larger. Uh, but right now, between um, uh, south of Godabo and Mountain View, we're taking a look at uh, not a, a typical looking supercell, but you can definitely see it. It, it is a supercell. Uh, we've got the rotation here with this little uh, appendage, this little hook. We've got. Uh, a hook developing here where you're getting this um, sort of bounded weak echo region here uh, between what is that going to be that's going to be uh, State Highway 54 and uh, North 2350 Road and as that moves to the north we just got an update this still could be the cell to watch uh, hail an inch and a half in diameter uh, we're looking sort of at that um, sort of V pattern not as clearly defined. These are all sort of going through the motions at the moment. We will uh, obviously be able to discern later uh, as the pattern goes which one is going to be the uh, V storm. Uh, right now, also a very good cell near Clinton, south of Arapaho. Uh, taking a look, we do have more of a uh, inflow near Bessie. And to the east of Foss, uh, probably uh, hail uh, an inch or larger with this storm. And that's going to be uh, into the Clinton area. Do I have what I need to run up? No, I don't. I do not have everything up right now. Um, but look out. That's a pretty severe storm. And then the big, the big, big storm of the day. Nearly three inch in diameter hail. This is in Dewey County. This is going to be uh, to the north of Putnam is where we're sort of seeing. And this is a clear, clear case of a supercell thunderstorm. Just take a look at it. We've got the, uh, the typical kidney bean shape. We've got the uh, little notch beginning to form. We've got the hail core. Uh, let's take a look at it. If you are in this black black area that is 68 on the reflectivity the how hard it's raining and hailing vertically integrated liquid shows a huge hail core and we're talking about some serious wind and hail right in here we're talking about rotation another high likelihood that this storm will also eventually go on to produce a tornado we're talking about uh, tops in excess of uh, 50,000 getting to near 60,000 feet uh, so we are talking about a, uh, a very, very severe thunderstorm. And uh, so it is going to be one of those days where we're probably going to see two or three big supercells go up. And I'm betting money that this, these two storms, one of these is going to become dominant. One of them is probably going to go on to produce a tornado. Uh, the other one uh, probably won't. But again, if something could get going between... Uh, Clinton and New Cordell, I'd watch out for that. And also look out in uh, Caddo County and a you know and a Darko. You're on the uh, peripheral of this storm. Now, all moving uh, at a rather fast pace. More storms could be developing, but again, this storm and that storm right there uh, between Putnam and Oakwood, and then off towards where are we looking at here? We're looking at. Uh, Sellings, Mutual, and uh, so quite, quite a, a day when it comes to severe weather. Um, if you're, no, you know, we may be seeing another uh, high EF3, a high chance for an EF3 tornado today or larger. Uh, let's take a look at the watch probabilities. Two or more tornadoes, 90%. One or more EF, uh, F2 to F5 uh, tornadoes, 70% likelihood. 10 or more severe wind reports, 
one or more severe wind, uh, less than a severe wind event, uh, hail events, high likelihood at uh, 80%, maximum hail, 3 inches, maximum surface wind gust at 60 knots, uh, main storm motion is 230 at 35 knots. So, again, you can basically see on radar what I'm concerned about. It is this storm right here, and it is something for potentially to start going near the Clinton area. Um, that's really what I'm looking for. Let's take a look at some of the observations in and around the area uh, as we go into the Carnegie area. Uh, we're taking a look at a uh, light thunderstorm rain, 82, humidity is 50%. Uh, barometer is two is 29.49 inches and falling. Uh, and, you know, we are looking at that hail core that will be passing near you. Hail an inch and a half in diameter, so large hail. And something, you know, we're, we've lost the rotation for the moment on this cell. But I'm... Uh, I'm convinced that this one will probably be one of the first to go. And then this storm right here, uh, north of uh, Cordell, it's beginning to get this sort of um, very supercellular appearance. We're getting rotation icons. Um, one right there, one right there. Let's go to a storm relative velocity. And we do have some weak rotation again. Uh, in Oklahoma, I mean... You really have, I mean, the rotation on any of these storms would really have to ramp up. But just because it is there, it's, you know, you're going to want to watch this because something will probably start to develop uh, rather shortly. But anytime you have what could be a major tornado outbreak, it's, uh, it's good to look at these storms and see what they're doing. And again, probably the best indication of rotation is with this northern cell north and east of Putnam.